CV for Live by Skinnerbox is a set of two devices that allows you to send control voltages and trigger signals from your modular system and use them to control practically anything within Ableton Live. This turns Live into a very capable digital module that can do anything from granular synthesis, effects processing, sample triggering or anything else you might think of. And the best thing about it is that you actually don't need any additional hardware except of what you already probably have if you own Ableton Live in a modular system. A sound card and an oscillating module. So the problem is that sound cards are meant to deal with audio rate signals and are equipped with AC coupled inputs. Control signals however, such as LFOs, envelopes or sequencers, are operating within the DC domain. CV for Live solves this problem, so let me show you how it works. As you can hear, my modular system plays a sequence. I've loaded CV for Live into an audio track and now I'm connecting my oscillator output to my sound card. You can connect it to any standard waveform output. I'm routing my sound card into the audio track and setting the monitoring to IN. And as you can see, the scope shows the input of the oscillator. Now let's calibrate it. First, I turn my oscillator all the way up and click the HIGH button. Now I'll turn it down until the out of range message start to flash. Take it just a bit above that and click LOW. Now I have a nice operating range. You can save this calibration simply by saving a preset of the device. Now let's start to modulate. I'm connecting the output of my envelope generator into the volt per octave input of my oscillator. My envelope is being triggered by a division of my clock divider and as you can see the shape is appearing on the scope. Although CV for Live offers controls over modulation amount, you don't really need it, because you can offset and attenuate the signal directly on your modular system and have a very hands-on experience. CV for Live offers a resolution of roughly 16 bit, and as we're using Live API and not MIDI, we can actually benefit from the full resolution. So let's map this to control the decay time of a reverb which is being applied on the sequence. We can change the envelope shape, and everything will follow nicely. I've also mapped the same parameter to control the mix amount of a grain delay. As you can hear, the delay time is not synced because it's following live's tempo. The second device, Clock for Live, allows you to slave live into a clock from your modular system. I am now connecting my master clock into the sound card and routing the left input into the device. As I'll set external clock to on, Live will immediately detect the tempo and everything will fall into place. And as you can see, if I'm playing with the tempo, Live is tracking it very well. The second section of Clock for Live allows you to take trigger signals from your modular system and use them to fire up audio or MIDI clips in Live. Let's hit the MAP button and assign it to an audio loop. Now let's connect the slowest division to the sound card and route it to the right input of Clock for Live. Let's take another instance of Clock for Live and use another division to trigger a one-shot sample. Please note that I have my global quantization settings set to none. Now let's make things more interesting by using our sequencer to rotate the clock divider. So let's take another instance of CV for Live and assign it to control the starting point of Simpler and do some granular scanning. For this purpose, I'm going to connect the self-oscillating filter to my sound card and use another envelope to modulate it. Now let's get rid of the cowbell and map the trigger to a MIDI clip on the Simpler track. Now let's map the second instance of CV for Live to control the starting point of Simpler. And to conclude,
conclude this, let's make a more interesting modulation using an LFO to control the attack time of the envelope. This is just the very tip of the iceberg of what you can actually do with it. This pack is available for free download, so follow the links and check it out. 